The central government has permitted easing of lockdown from today. State governments will decide to what extent they see it fit to allow relaxations. The resumption of economic activity comes on a day when India saw the biggest single day spike in the number of coronavirus cases, 1553 cases in the last 24 hours, which takes the total to 17265 including 543 deaths. 36 deaths were reported in the last 24 hours. Sources in the Home Ministry have said that India may see a peak in COVID-19 cases in the month of May after which there shall be a decline. The Union Home Ministry has written a letter to the Kerala government for diluting the lockdown guidelines issued by the center. The state government has permitted activities that are prohibited in the center's revised guidelines. Additional activities allowed by the government of Kerala include opening of local workshops, barber shops, restaurants, bookstores, MSMEs and municipal limits, bus travel in cities and towns for shorter distance, two passengers in the back seat of four wheelers and pillion riding on scooters. An FIR has been filed against a hospital owner in Meerut 2 days after the cancer treatment institution in an advertisement said that Muslim patients would only be admitted if they and their attendants showed negative test results for COVID-19. The owner of the Valentes Hospital was quoted by a newspaper report saying that the advertisement read objectionably due to misprints while their message was to promote testing and encourage people to cooperate. Amid the COVID-19 lockdown that has stranded many migrant laborers far from their native places, the Pune Zilla Parishad in a first of its kind initiative has decided to make available PDS grains to over 80,000 undocumented people through the use of temporary ration cards. The Zilla Parishad plans to use Aadhaar-based authentication to open accounts for these people with the India Post Payments Bank. Once this is done, the migrants can draw ration from the PDS system. The gram panchayats will home deliver rations to avoid overcrowding. Telangana Chief Minister K Chandrasekhar Rao has announced an extension of the coronavirus lockdown till May the 7th. Telangana has decided to enforce a stricter lockdown also prohibiting the operation of food delivery apps. Rao informed that the number of coronavirus cases in the state is 858 including 21 deaths. Minuscule traces of the new coronavirus have been found in Paris's non-potable water, but drinking water is at no risk of contamination. The Paris Water Authority's laboratory detected tiny amounts of the virus in four of the 27 samples collected across the city from supply used for cleaning streets, for example. As a precaution, the network was shut immediately. A gunman in the Canadian province of Nova Scotia killed at least 13 people in one of the worst attacks of mass murder the country has seen in more than 30 years. 51-year-old Gabriel Wortman shot people in several locations before being shot himself. There appears to be no connection between the gunman and the victims.